Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this matrix map tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to search using the map in matrix. Now, before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same. And for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. All right, so when you generate a search in matrix, instead of searching the entire system, you'll typically want to isolate an area for your client. To do this, we can either choose to select general locations from the criteria section, or as we're about to see, isolate specific areas on the map using any of the map shape tools. All right, so let's go ahead and remove our general location and then close the criteria and results section to help maximize the map viewing area. Now, if you'd prefer to change how the map appears, then we're also able to switch to use the terrain or the satellite view. And if there's a specific map position that you prefer to use as your starting default, then you're able to set that as your initial location as well. All right, so now that everything's configured, for this example, we're going to assume that our client's looking to purchase property near a personal point of interest. And to help locate that point, I can either zoom in and search for it manually using any of my general area presets, or I can pinpoint the exact location by adding the address to where the map marker should appear. All right, so now that my point of interest has been added, let's return to the shape tools and using the radius, look for all properties that are within 10 miles. Now, if we zoom in, the first thing you may notice is that our shape isn't exactly where we'd like it to be. So to modify this, simply hover over the red settings dot, then click and drag it into its new position. Matrix also includes a handy ruler tool, and this allows us to measure the distance between any two points. In this example, I wanna know approximately how far it is from this property to my client's point of interest. All right, so now let's assume that maybe there's some neighborhoods that are within my selected area that my customer wants to avoid. So let's go ahead and exclude those areas by isolating them with another shape. But this time, we're going to get very specific and use the polygon tool, where each click of the mouse represents a brand new point on the polygon. And again, I'm going to hover over the red settings dot and then exclude the area. Now to adjust the dimensions of a shape, simply hover over the edge until the resizing handle appears. Then click and drag it into its new position. All right, so now that our client's potential locations have been isolated, we're now ready to explore the properties in more detail. And to do that, we're able to use the map layers to help define any of the following elements on the page. For example, Toggling on the high school layer defines the boundaries around each area high school on our map, essentially providing clients with a more visual reference of where to search for properties. And once we've isolated those properties, we can then preview them by selecting their map marker. And from here, we're also able to view additional property details, as well as the property's primary photos or choose from the gallery. Next, to select the property that we're interested in, we can either pick them individually, or select them as a group. We're also able to select just the properties that are currently visible, or everything on the page. And finally, to view the definition of what each map marker represents, first select the legend button, then choose from any of the associated panels. All right, well, this concludes this map search tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.